Doxorubicin is one of our most potent chemotherapeutic agents, but its use is limited by its toxicity profile. Encapsulating doxorubicin inside a liposome, such as that used in calyx, improves its toxicity profile. Calyx liposomes consist of an aqueous core surrounded by two layers of lipids, the lipid bilayer. Liposomal doxorubicin is, however, quickly removed from the circulation. To significantly prolong circulation time, the calyx liposomes are coated in polyethylene glycol, or PEG layer. This means calyx can offer several advantages over conventional doxorubicin, in particular an improved toxicity profile and prolonged circulation time. Calyx is often referred to as a stealth liposome, but why do we need a stealth molecule, and what does this mean? While liposomes reduce the cardiotoxic effects of doxorubicin, they're identified by the opsonins in the immune system and rapidly removed from the circulation. Adding a peg layer to the outer surface of the liposome, as with calyx, dramatically changes its characteristics. Importantly, the peg layer helps prevent the opsonins from adhering to and penetrating the liposome. Thus, calyx is less recognized by the immune system than conventional doxorubicin, meaning its uptake by the mononuclear phagocyte system is greatly reduced. Consequently, it's termed a stealth liposome. Additionally, pegylation creates a sterically stabilized liposome, which reduces adherence to cells, blood vessel walls and other surfaces. So, in summary, due to its unique pegylated layer, calyx shows prolonged blood circulation times compared with other agents. The use of doxorubicin as a chemotherapeutic agent is limited by its cardiotoxicity, which is dose-related, cumulative and mostly irreversible. Calyx can, however, reduce these side effects. The main factors in achieving this are liposome composition, pegylation and liposome size. The chemical composition of the liposomal layers of calyx is important in delivering drug to target tissues. In calyx, the ratio of hydrogenated soy phosphatidylcholine and cholesterol of the outer layer provides a rigid bilayer up to 37 degrees Celsius. This rigidity promotes drug retention and reduces drug leakage rates. Drug release is slowed further by the presence of ammonium sulfate. Within the liposome, the stability of the doxorubicin and reversible precipitation enables negligible drug leakage in circulation, but satisfactory drug release at the target tissues. Let's now look at how pegylation of the calyx liposome influences circulation, therapeutic index and anti-tumor efficacy. The outer peg layer composition helps calyx avoid detection by the immune system, reducing its clearance and increasing its plasma half-life versus conventional doxorubicin. Avoiding detection by the immune system helps increase the circulation time of calyx and improves its chances of reaching the tumor site. As mentioned earlier, the size of the liposome is a key component in reducing toxicity versus conventional doxorubicin. At 100 nanometers, the pegylated calyx liposome is too large to enter tight capillary junctions such as those found in heart muscle and in the gastrointestinal tract. This helps reduce cardiotoxicity, myelosuppression and alopecia. Additionally, large calyx liposomes cannot escape through the walls of normal blood vessels on their way to the tumour. The intact calyx liposomes circulate through the tumour's microvascular bed several times. These blood vessels are highly irregular and leaky, allowing calyx liposomes to escape and enter the tumour's extracellular space. They accumulate here before finally releasing their active doxorubicin. In summary, calyx can deliver doxorubicin directly to tumour cells, while minimising exposure to non-target tissues. This alters the tolerability profile, resulting in a higher therapeutic index than conventional doxorubicin.